Police need your help this morning identifying the suspect in a carryout robbery. Ashley, imagine driving down the street, going about 40 miles an hour, when all of a sudden, boom, a rock the size of your fist coming down off of a bridge and hits your car. And you can almost hear the polka music now, right? We're just hours away from kicking off this year's the Grain Street Polish Festival. So in court today, a man accused of killing a local gym owner, Dietrich Boone, will face a judge for a pretrial hearing this morning. With Frank Viviano, he's the owner. Frank, you have some beautiful displays for us over here, but something that I really love are the gift baskets that the girls can buy the guys. Oh, Toledo Fire investigators are looking into several recent suspicious fires. Your high school graduation? Is. I do, like yesterday. Yeah, it seems like yesterday. It you was know. yesterday. I'm so young, Brandon. <laughs> well, well, the state of Ohio is making it easier to search for drivers with five or more OVI convictions. The Department of Public Safety launched an enhanced registry this week of repeat offenders. The old registry, which was created in 2008, was a paper-driven system that relied on local court jurisdictions. The the new system compiles the information automatically from already existing electronic records. Toledo police are looking for the people responsible for a string of North Toledo construction thefts. It happened Thursday afternoon in the 300 block of Delaware and the 300 block of Macon. The properties are under construction. Now we sat down with an officer who tells us why it wasn't difficult for the criminals to pull off the thefts. This spring, Finley City Schools will be taking steps to increase police response time in the event of an emergency at a school building. Will you and your family have any Father's Day plans coming up? Maybe? You know, that you're allowed to tell? Yeah, okay. my husband said, don't buy me anything. Yeah? He's did very—he's a very humble man. So did you buy um, him something? I didn't. <laughs> I listen, I All obey right, my good. husband. All right. All right. <laughs> Friends and family of a missing Fremont man continue to search for him after the 22-year-old went missing from a Jason Aldean concert on Friday. The picture you see on the left is what Corey Barron was wearing the night of the concert. Cleveland police say he was there with friends and family, and he went from one section to another. And that's that's the last time anyone has seen or heard from him.